Hello, England. How are you today? Mrs. May, your Prime Minister, prevented me to come to London today. She probably didn't like my speech last time. Shame on you, Mrs. May. But here I am anyway. And I'm honored to speak to you again. You are all heroes. And let me ask you, can Tommy count on you? Of course, I know he can. We will never let Tommy down. Free Tommy Robinson. And shame on you, Mrs. Theresa May. You did not act against the massive rape of young English girls. You allowed Tommy Robinson to be imprisoned. Your government betrayed our daughters. Your government betrayed our trust. Your government betrayed the people. And worst of all, Mrs. Theresa May, your government betrayed Tommy Robinson. So my friends, I ask you, is this how you want your country to be governed? You heard us, Mrs. May. We do not betray our own people because we are different than you. We are loyal to our people. We are loyal to our country. And we care about our children, our daughters. My friends, Tommy did not deserve jail. Tommy deserved a medal. He deserved a medal. He did what the media failed to do. He did what the British government should have done. He exposed child rapists. He fought for our children. But the establishment wants to silence him. Because the establishment wants to silence all of us. So my friends, I ask you, will we ever be silenced? No, never. We will never be silenced. And we are here today to show it. Free Tommy Robinson. My friends, a few meters from here are the cabinet war rooms. And it is there that the great Winston Churchill said, we shall not flag or fail. We shall go on to the end. My friends, what a leader. That is the kind of leaders we need. Men like Churchill, men like Tommy Robinson. Men who have made Britain great. They are the pride of this nation. You are the pride of this nation. And that is why it's an honor to speak here in front of you. And around the corner, around the corner is Downing Street 10. And who deserves to live in Downing Street 10. Mrs. May or Tommy Robinson? And who deserves to be the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? Theresa May or Tommy Robinson? My friends, all over Western Europe, our governments are turning our countries into provinces of the Middle East and Africa. They have opened our borders to mass immigration and Islamization. We are losing our country, our culture, our identity, our freedom, and our children are no longer safe. And now they have started jailing those who object. Who? Who do they think we are? And I will tell them who we are. We are Tommy's band of brothers. Resistance is our middle name. 
Don't tread on us. We go on until we get what we want, until victory is ours, until Tommy Robinson is free again, until our country is ours again. Send us victorious. We drive forward as one. And if Tommy is not released, we will be back in ever larger numbers for all over the land, all over the world. Our demand will be heard. Free Tommy Robinson and free him now. And here is our message to the peoples of Europe. Do not despair. The darkest hour is just before dawn. And it is almost dawn. We are going to reclaim our countries. And here, my friends, is our message to Tommy Robinson, to Tommy himself. Tommy, if you hear us, if you see a video perhaps of this event, know this. On behalf of millions of people all over the world, on behalf of the thousands of freedom fighters gathered here today, we say, Tommy, we will never abandon you. We will always be here for you. We will not rest until you are a free man again, Tommy, until you are reunited with your family, until you, as a matter of fact, Tommy Robinson, until you are leading the freedom movement of Britain again. Long live Tommy Robinson. Thank you, my friends.